Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Road to Ranked Roulette series. I hope you're all doing well. We are here. It's Friday. We are ending up the week with this team. We've had an incredible ride so far. If you've missed any of the episodes from this week's cycle with our Road to Roulette team, then click up here. You can go back, check out the episodes, come back to this one because things are heating up really nicely going into this last one today. We are on a record. Sounds crazy. We're on a record of five losses, three wins. So we can tie up the week today with two wins that's all we need and we just need to make sure we're taking our time we're believing in our pokemon and we can really do this chimeco probably is being one of the stars of the show for sure um and and purloin since its introduction has been incredible so i'm feeling really good about everything mega amphros is just a beast i'm really looking forward to today um the team is always is down in the description below there is a roll paste and poker paste of the team and make sure you get your nominations over in our community section of the channel there is a poll there asking you guys to nominate pokemon for next week's team so make sure you jump over there nominate a pokemon and it will be thrown into the wheel for next week's roulette team so make sure you get over there right away do that and it can be any pokemon you would like but without further ado let's get into this final episode with this team it's going to be sad to see this team go i have really enjoyed it this week it's been incredibly fun to play and i hope you guys have enjoyed it as well as i say we're sitting on a record of five losses three wins so we can tie things up today if we can just get a couple of wins and that would be amazing it could all go wrong of course depending on how we play what we come up against but i believe in the team and I think we can do it. I think we can do it. We're going to start with Giovanni. Some music to kick us off today. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to find an opponent. And as always, guys, if you do enjoy this content, please remember to drop a like on the video. Just subscribe to the channel and remember to leave your comments down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on the games that we play. What Pokemon you'd like to see featured going forward as well in this series. And if you've got any additional ideas for bonus buttons or different rules that we can integrate within the series, do let me know down below. I would love to hear from you guys going forward. Forward. So it's looking like it's going to take a little while to find an opponent. So I'm going to just cut it here and we'll come straight back to when we find that first opponent of the episode. And we've got a first opponent of the episode from Japan. 1539 ready players. So we'll jump straight into team preview and see how we can get on this one today. Ah, uh, this looks hard. This looks hard. We've got a first opponent playing a team of Groudon, Dawnwings, Necrozma, Tapu Lele, Incineroar, Kangaskhan and Smeagol. So... <clears throat> Predominantly, well, is it going to be Trick Room? It's probably going to be Tailwind with Ultra Necrozma paired up with that Tapu Lele there. So it's going to be a little bit difficult to get around these Pokemon for sure. Um, Purloin. It's going to find it difficult, definitely, <clears throat> to operate for sure. Um, mm, we definitely need Trick Room, I feel, in this game. But the, this feels like a really tough matchup in general. Um, Perlon could be very good, but it's the slower fake out of two of, th like, there's three fake out Pokemon. But if that Psychic Terrain goes up, um, do we bring Chimeco? Probably. Let's bring Chimeco. Let's bring Perlon. Um, or do we bring Perlon in the back to switch in? No, I don't think we do. I think we bring that. Um, do we bring Necrozma to this game? Probably not. Let's bring Kieran Black for sure. Um, and Amphros? Mega Amphros? Should we go for Mega Amphros? Or should we go for Sylveon? Um, hmm. If you can get the Trick Room up, Mega Amphros is great. I'm going to lock in with these. Uh, I'm not feeling... I'm not feeling massively confident about this matchup. This matchup feels really hard. I think we've got to play out of our skins and have a little bit of luck on our side <clears throat> to get a result in this one. But you can never give up or lose lose that hope that you've got that you can do something in a, in a game like this. So let's see what we can do. Um, okay. Perline. Chimeco. Chimeco really not <laughs> in a great place right now. Um, Perline's not in a bad place. Um, especially with the fake out there. And we can shut down the Incineroar for sure, but we're not going to be able to get a Trick Room up. Curan Black's probably the best thing to bring in with the Assault Vest to soak up an attack from the Unicrosma. Um Do we just fake out the Incineroar? 
Uh, I mean, the Dawn Wings isn't really pressuring us too much from a per line perspective, so I think, yeah, we'll just shut down the Incineroar. I mean, we could see the Tapu Lele come in. We're not going to, I don't think, because we would have seen them switch out before us. Um, we just do get that fake out into the Incineroar. Preserve the Sash on the um, per line. And we're going to see the eject button activate on that Incineroar, which is a nice tech there for my opponent. I wonder if we see a Trick Room set up from the Dawn Wings. Now, I wouldn't mind if that is actually the case. Uh, I really wouldn't. Like, if we see. <clears throat> if we do see Trick Room set up, I'm, I'm actually. That helps us out a bunch. But I don't know if we're going to. So, Groudon hitting the field. Trick room. Nice. Okay. Right. Now, I'm going to go for a charm and an earth power into the ground on here. And we'll see. I mean, we, we might see the Incineroar come in for the Necrozma here. Probably does feel threatened from the pearl line, potentially. It might stay on the field, though. But the ground on. Definitely susceptible to to charm, uh, lowering that attack by two stages. So it's not going to be hitting as hard as it would be normally, as long as it's not um, special variant as the Earth Power. Wow, doing so much damage. Pull Purloin. Can we get through this turn? Uh, oh, it's special. Oh no. Okay, so the charm doing nothing there. Hey, we are going to get an Earth Power into the ground on, which is which is good. Um, definitely, definitely good. Um, and we lost special defense as well. Um, so maybe a Dragon Pulse can get it with Mega Ampharos after that drop, because we do have Shadow Ball with our Curum, so we can hit into that Dawn Wings and do some nice damage there. It's all about whether the Dragon Pulse can get the ground on from this range and I'm gonna say I'm gonna say we probably can. Um Amphros is deceivingly powerful. Uh, so let's go for the Dragon Pulse into the Groudon. Let's Mega Evolve and go for that Shadow Ball into the Dawn Wings and see if we can pick up the knockout there. We're gonna see the Groudon switch out uh sunlight alien and soon we're gonna come back onto the field. Which is fine. Uh, it's gonna go for that intimidate shuffle. We've seen it do so many times before. Um, what's the Dawnwing's going to do? I wonder if it has a Z move. That would be a little bit worrying if it does, because it's going to be able to get that off before we can attack with Curum Black. We do get the Mold Breaker activated. Let's see what the Dragon Pulse damage is like into this Incineroar. I don't think it's going to be doing too much damage. Wow. Yeah, and there's a Z move. Oh. Oh no, are you kidding? It's Tectonic Rage. Oh, it's a Groundium. If, uh, out of everything, we could have just Magnet Rise there as well with Amphros. Can Amphros take this? I doubt it. There's no way. No. That's that's disappointing. That is very disappointing. I wonder if a Shadow Ball will be able to get this. Kirim. I don't think it will be. No. No Chimeko coming in. Uh, we do have the Hypnosis that we can maybe utilize here. So we've still got a lifeline, a little bit of a lifeline. It's the Tapu Lele that comes in later, though, that becomes a bit of a problem. And the fact that we can't protect with... The... Oh, man. Tectonic Rage. What? What? Um. Okay, let's go for an Earth Power. No. Do we go for Earth Power into Incineroar? No, I think we go Shadow Ball and Hypnosis. Yeah, Hypnosis into Necrozma and hopefully get that on onto it. I think we keep our Z Trick Room if we can for later in this game. It's just not I just don't see it happening though. Fake out coming out into Yeah, okay. Ah, uh, we needed that. We needed that to hit. We really did need that to hit. It's gonna go for the Moonbase Beam. This is probably enough to get the Chimeco. And I think that's gonna be game now. The 
the the tech rage was just too much for us. I just didn't expect like I don't expect that Z move. I expect the the ghost team, but I don't expect the tectonic rage. And best of one. What can you do, eh? What can you do? Uh, we will go for a Shadow Ball. I think it's all but over now. We're down to one Pokemon. My opponent's still got four Pokemon. I didn't like the look of this matchup when we first started. Losses six, wins three. We can only we can only make this a, a six four, a six four result, which is a little bit unfortunate. Uh, there's the Moon Guys Beam and my opponent taking the win there. Hmm. It's unfortunate. I mean, in hindsight, what we could have potentially done with Perline as well as went for a foul play into that Dawn Wings, which would have maybe been a little bit better than, than losing it to an Earth Power. Uh, the Earth Power was an indicator for my opponent early on, but showing what a, a difficult matchup that was, but we'll not let it get to us. We'll we'll try and get a win to finish off the week. That's the main thing. If we can have that last, that last game with a win, that makes things a bit better, doesn't it? It's so tough to take, though. I've got to keep reminding myself as well, you know, I get <laughs> I get so upset with like the the losses and I think, oh, I want to be doing, I want to be doing better for this series so it's a bit more entertaining and, and uh, we're doing stuff. But you've got to remember that I keep reminding myself, we're using like Pokemon that I never used before against teams. We're at the end of a season as well where everyone's got a really solid team as well. So we're using them and any wins we get are like a real bonus. Um, and I do think as well, as we go on, we're going to have weeks where we get a really good selection of Pokemon, where we get all the utilities that we need. Like like one of the things I was mentioning was the Perline, like the fake out support or redirection support. If we get tools like that in our team that we can utilize, it makes options so much more viable. Um, so Perline is a great option that we've had this week. The little kitty is doing so good. Probably one of my favorite picks as well this week. I think it's been amazing since it's come in. But um, we need options like that to help us get to get get a cohesive team to get things going and and to get memes going as well. We need those options to kind of marry up. So we need two Pokemon potentially with two two things that can help us get a meme going. It's you know a strategy going. It's not like you can have it on one Pokemon, but if you can't support it with the rest of the team, it's just not going to work. So sometimes it's not going to work. Sometimes it is. We've got the bonus buttons, which are going to help. We're going to have a brand new bonus button next week. So we'll be introducing that on Monday. So hope you're excited for that, guys. Um, but we'll finish up with Necrozma Vision 2 music today to, in homage for Necrozma. It's going to take a little bit of time to find our next opponent. So we'll cut right now and we'll come straight back to when we've got our next opponent. So sit tight and we'll be right back, my friends. And we've got our next opponent of the episode. So let's hop straight into team preview and see what we're going up against now. Okay, so our next opponent is running a team of Kyogre, Tapu Fini, Metagross, the Togedemaru, Incineroar, and Rayquaza. So we've got a Rayogre call. We've got potentially two Megas on the team between the Metagross and that Rayquaza. We've got very little speed control on my opponent's end of the field. They've only really got Icy Wind. Um, no options of Trick Room, no options of Tailwind. You're going to look at this team and think probably more like a trick room team now the beauty about cure and black is it does have that terra volt ability which will ignore the togedemaru as well as our amphros so if my opponent tries to protect their kyogre or tapu fini from these electric type attacks with that pokemon it's not going to work so i think the one thing that we want to try and do is is definitely try and get a trick room up um, and then get uh cure Black and our Amphros onto the field and start chucking out some damage. Um, yeah, I think the selection is fine. I feel pretty confident in this matchup, so I feel like we can actually do some stuff here. So hopefully it all works out pretty nicely for us and we can do some, get a win to, to end the week. So we want is one is one more win, um, and I think if we can get four wins in a week, that's not bad. That's like two days of straight winning. When you look at it like that, if we can get another win, <laughs> which isn't too bad, but we've had that we had that incredible win the other day against Jaws there, which was which is really worthwhile. And I think, like I said at the time, when you get a win like that, it, it makes the whole series, the whole week worthwhile, doesn't it? 
We're going to see Metagross and Tapu Fini come out for our opponent here. We're going to see the Tapu Fini activate that Misty Surge, get the Misty Train onto the field, protect against any sort of status conditions. And then the Metagross come out pairing up with it as well very nicely. Um, Tapu Fini could have Taunt for sure. Uh, do we go for just the Trick Room rather than the Z move? Uh, or do we go for it? Um, I think we go for the Trick Room. Definitely. Um, and probably just fake out the Tapu Fini here. Yeah. Fake out the Fini. Get the Trick Room up. Just I don't want to get taunted by the, the Finny here. It could potentially go for that, and that would put the stoppers on everything we're trying to do. We don't want to use a, a Z move just yet. We might be able to utilize that later on in this game. Um, as we do get the trick room set up now from our side of the field. Um, and I wonder if we see Metagross go for uh, its Mega Evolution now. If it does, that's that's not bad. Uh, Chimeko probably better off getting Amphros onto the field now than Akira and Black. I'm I would, could on call that Metagross. Um, it's a nice option. Um, and I think I will go for the on-call, just to lock it into that protect. Um, Perline causing all sorts of havoc. It means that Amphros gets in and it's got a little bit more time to, to manoeuvre. Uh, we are going to see the Metagross go for that Mega Evolution here. So We're not too worried about what it does though, because we're locking it into that or uh, protect there that we've already seen. So there's the on-call, Perline being a boss, the boss cat, the best cat, I would argue. There's a taunt now coming out from the type of Finny into the Amphros, but that's fine. Hey, we don't mind about that now. Metagross going for the protect there. Um, and it is going to be kind of forced out now. I'm going to Mega Evolve. I'm going to chuck a Thunderbolt into the Metagross. And I'm going to go for an Encore into the Tapu Fini to, to lock it into that on, that, that Taunt. Prevent it from doing anything here. Metagross is going to switch out. We're going to see Kyogre hit the field. Ideal for us here. So we're going to be able to get a big, fat Mega Amphros Thunderbolt off into that. Put it in range for a knockout the next turn. And we're keeping this pressure up on my opponent's side of the field. And Perline putting in all the work here for us really being able to uh, to shut down what my opponent's trying to do. Just got to keep in mind that we've got to have that, we've got the, the trick room in the back so we want to try and make use of that again later in this game if we can because we're probably not going to get the majority of work done in this, this cycle of trick room that we want to be able to do. Uh, we do get the on-call into the Tapu Fini and now shut that down by locking it into that taunt which we don't mind it's probably going to go into the pearl line anyway um, and if it does that's fine we can just switch out this next turn pretty safely wow look at the damage there critical hit okay it's a bit unfortunate oh we're going to see a twinkle tackle come out from this type of finny it's going to be into our amphros and we're going to lose it <laughs> oh no no i don't want to lose amphros just yet oh no it's going to be guardian of alula okay that's fine I mean, I prefer this to uh, the Twinkle Tackle, which probably would have taken Amphros down. will take us down to 25% um, health, but that's alright. It does put us in range for a, um, an extreme speed. Uh, but what we'll do, we'll just go for a foul play into the Kyogre. We'll go for a Thunderbolt into the Tapu Fini. And remember, it is locked, so it's likely going to switch out. If it sticks around, it's just going to taunt stuff, so that's fine. But Perline sitting pretty happy now. Still got its Sash. Still going to be really able to disrupt and do a lot of damage to the majority of things. Metagross going to hit the field once again. You're going to see it take a Thunderbolt in the, in the process here. Um, and Kyogre just going to protect and uh, puts itself in a, a really awkward position where it can be uncalled this next turn. Do get the Thunderbolt into that Metagross and do some really nice damage there. And I think what we'll do, our taunt does wear off. I'm going to Thunderbolt into the Kyogre slot this time. I expect the Kyogre to maybe switch out here. And I'm going to foul play into the Metagross. Metagross could go for Bullet Punch here, but it, is, it isn't going to be super effective against Amphros. So I would say we're probably quite likely to survive this. Yeah, yeah, confident, quietly confident, um, and yeah, Thunderbolt picking up the knockout onto the Kyogre here, and the final player will be able to get this Metagross Heavy Rain lifting, and uh, this might be close enough for us to 
start doing some good work. Our trick room is going to end pretty soon, but we've got to remember, yeah, it does end now. Uh, ready for that Tapu Fini to come back onto the field. We do have Chimeko in the back, and we got our Kieran Black as well. And if it is the Rayquaza, along with that Tapu Fini, uh, we do have Charm, so we can really reduce the, the, the attack and power of the, the Rayquaza if we would like to. Uh, we've definitely got to watch out for the taunt, but the thing is we've still got our Z trick room that we can utilize with Chimeko So that's the beauty about not utilizing that early on. I'm going to switch in Chimeko here I'm going to go for a charm into Rayquaza. Hopefully try and reduce that attack Stack down by two stages and really make sure that it's not going to be effective at all going into the latter turns of this game So there's Amphros taking a break probably won't come back in until that Rayquaza has left the field. Okay, we're going to see Rayquaza just go for a Protect here. Do go for the Charm. Tapu Fini going to probably taunt the Purloin here. Yeah, shut that down finally once and for all. And stop us from being able to really do very much damage here. Uh, okay, I'm going to Protect the Chimeko and I'm going to switch in Amphros just to just to sack it because I think you probably attack into the purloin here um, and if not then we get the purloin switch in the next turn it's just the idea of trying to get purloin back in untaunted with that fake out so we can make use of the trick room here from Chimeko and then get Kieran Black onto the field which will be able to easily deal with either of the the Tapu Fini or the, the Mega Ray once my opponent has decided well they can't actually Mega Revolve the Ray because in the Metagross I do forget, so it's just regular old Ray here. Uh, ooh, Sword Stance. Mm, not so good. Not so good. It's not what we like to see. There's a taunt there. Ah, okay. Things getting a little bit trickier now. Um, okay. Oh, this is tricky. This is tricky. Uh, let's bring in Purloin. For Chimeko, and let's try and get a Dragon Pulse onto this Rayquaza. They've got to attack something. I think we probably see a taunt into the Purloin here, but if we do lose Amphros, it does mean that we're going to get the Chimeko back onto the field. So, yeah, yeah, and then the taunt I'd imagine from. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Okay, so. We get the Chimeko onto the field. And we need to fake out the Ray. And then Z Trick Room. And then we've got the uh, Hypnosis. Uh, Z Trick Room. It's easy enough for the, the Tapu Fini just to taunt our Chimeko here, which is fine. Um, the problem is, though, that we can't really utilize as a Trick Room. Oh, got some Moonblast. Huh interesting so we're actually going to be able to utilize especially if the uh, Misty Train disappears this next turn which it quite possibly could hmm we're going to be able to stop putting things to sleep if the Misty Train I'm sure it does disappear this turn no it must be the next turn um we'll do is foul play how do we switch? I'm going to foul play the Rayquaza. And I'm just going to protect. Do we Hypnosis as well? No, I'm going to protect Chimeko because the Ray could protect you. It's not likely to. Yeah, it does protect actually. Okay, that's fine. There's a taunt trying to shut the hypnosis down yet. Yeah. Oh, and ah, uh, okay, this is this is ideal. Um, let's go for. Can we lock the Rayquaza? It's gonna go for extreme speed. I'm gonna try and charm it, and I'm gonna go for the hypnosis into that type of finny. It's gonna extreme speed, yeah, into the purloin to get rid of it. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. But if we can shut down this type of thing, that makes things a lot easier for us. Uh, because we can try and shut down this Rayquaza the next turn. Hopefully Chimeko can take a plus two extreme speed. 
I'm not sure if we can, but we might be able to. Uh, okay. So let's get in Kurum. I think we've got to attack the Finny now with Fusion Bolt and go for the Hypnosis into the Red Quaza. Um, so yeah, Fusion Bolt, the Finny, and Hypnosis, the Ray. I think the Ray probably protects here. That's that's why I'm making this play, because I think you try and stall out Tapu Finny waking up. Yeah. Um, and if you can wake up this turn, you obviously get the Taunt into uh, the Chimeco, but this is why I want a Fusion Bolt here. And then the next turn, we can actually just double up the Ray with an Ice Beam and a Psychic, rather than the, the Hypnosis. Um, Tapu Finny stays asleep, so that's fine. And we should be able to lock this one up. It's not been as straightforward as you can kind of imagine it would have been. Uh, Ice Beam into Ray. It's Sash is broken. We can go for that Hypnosis as well. It has to get the double protect though now. I think my opponent has to. Uh, it's gone for extreme speed. Can you make a. Oh, it's into Kurum Black. That's fine. We get the Hypnosis there. Shut it down. So if this Ice Beam for some reason doesn't pick up the knockout, which it's definitely going to, we're in such an incredible position next turn to pick up a knockout uh, onto the, the Finny. We've got to be careful with the Moonblast, of course. It's still going to be doing a, a decent chunk of damage, um, but it actually stays asleep, so we're, we're in an incredible position to potentially close this one out. Um, dimensions turn back to normal, um, but a Fusion Bolt. Like, we should take a Moonblast from the Finny, um, and I'm just going to Psychic as well. Um, because I think Chimeco, even from this range, is going to be able to pick up the one-on-one, -on -one, even if uh, we're just going to see another taunt here, just to shut that trick room down, but not going to go for it now. The Fusion Bolt will be enough, and Kuren Black and Chimeco picking up the victory for us in this last one. So, end of the week, we are sitting on four wins, six losses. I think that's right. I think that's right. Yeah. So we've had, we've had more wins this week than we did last week, which is good. And I think the team has proved itself to be worthy enough. It's just got some pretty bad matchups, like our ghost weakness is terrible. Um, we're relying heavily on something like Purloin uh, to, to help us out there, which is maybe a bit too much at times. But I mean, the team's been incredible. Massive props to each and every one of you for all of the suggestions that we had, nominations for the wheel this week. Make sure you do get them in for next week. I hope you've enjoyed this run with the team. I've had an incredible time this week, so I'm hoping you guys have enjoyed it as well. We'll be back on Monday with a brand new Wheel of Fortune, where we'll get our new team of six. So make sure you do get those nominations in over the over the next few days um, to make sure they're included in the Wheel for Monday's episode. And uh, we'll end things up there, guys. Have an incredible weekend, whatever you're up to. And I will catch up with you all very soon. Thanks so much for tuning in. Take care and bye-bye.